Hi, my name is Amy Kiefer. I am a registered nurse, a personal trainer, and a doula. And I own Expecting and Empowered with my sister, Crystal, who is a physical therapist specializing in women's health and orthopedics. Now for our yoga program, which it lives inside of our app, we partnered with a woman named Shreya. And so she is prenatal certified and she takes people through the most awesome yoga flows that you could ask for. The one that we're dropping today on YouTube is specifically for bedtime. So this is going to relax you. It's prenatal. So pregnancy yoga that is safe for any trimester. So try this out. See if you like it. Can't wait to hear what you think. Let's begin with some relaxation breathing. Get comfortable. As you find a space to get comfortable, take a moment to soften your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose, release it through the mouth. Now, continuing to breathe in and out through the nose, in for a count of four, out for a count of seven. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Continue at your own pace. Remember, it never has to be perfect. The goal is just to make your exhales longer than your inhales activating the relaxation response, calming down your nervous system. And remember, you can use this breath anytime you need it. Take five more breaths just like that. Really allowing yourself to relax. With your next breath, blink your eyes open. Meet me in a child's pose. Take your time gently coming into all fours. And bring your big toes together. Take your knees wide. Sink your upper body into your mat. You might even consider grabbing a bolster here and really getting comfortable placing the bolster or even some pillows underneath your torso. You could even practice this flow directly on your bed or even end on your bed once you've found total relaxation. Continue to breathe normally or come back to your relaxation breathing. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere in your body. Allow your exhale to release it. If you're on a bolster, you can switch to your opposite cheek now. Come back to your breath. Allow any distractions to float away. On an inhale, gently come back to center, removing any props if you have them. And then walk your palms over the right edge of your mat. <coughs> Finding a side bend in your child's pose.
Breathe here. Inhale as you come back to center. Walk both palms over the left edge of your mat. Deepen your breath into the left side of your body. Deepen your breath into the right side of your body. Inhale, come back to center, meeting me in tabletop. Tuck your toes under and rock forward and back. Just releasing out of that space. Meet me back in center for some gentle cats and cows. Inhale, gently open your heart. Exhale, and gently arch your back. These don't have to be very deep. Just move with intention. A few more rounds, going at your own pace. On your next inhale, pause in your cow pose. As you exhale, look over your right shoulder. As you inhale, come back to center. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Inhale back to center once more. Finding a stable space by placing your knee underneath your hip. Walk your palms forward for puppy pose. Again, use any props you need here to support you. Toes can tuck under for more stability. Notice your heart opening. Notice your shoulders opening. Inhale and come back to center. And make your way into a seat. As you make your way into a seat, bring your feet flat on the mat. Fingertips can face any direction that feels comfortable to you. Cross the right ankle over your left thigh. Breathe here in your figure four stretch. You can always walk the left heel in closer to your left glute for a deeper stretch. Breathe and notice where you feel the stretch. Keep a gentle flex in your right foot. Maybe even begin to drop the right knee and then lift it up. Finding this movement Noticing where you might want to pause and deepen your breath. Exhale, release the right foot down. Take a moment to readjust if you need to, and then cross the left ankle over your right thigh. Gentle flex in your left foot. Again, walk the right heel closer if you'd like or even further away if you need to. Wherever you are, roll the shoulders back, creating space in your heart. Breathe here. After a few more breaths, you can begin to shift your knee further away from you, closer to you. Again, just notice the sensations. Pause wherever you need to. Deepen your breath. Exhale, release the left foot. Now coming into a seat, we'll take some side bends. Placing the right palm by your right hip. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and over. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the opposite side. Inhale, come back to center. Sweep the left arm up and over. Come back to center. Right arm goes up and over. 
Now, as you're facing the long edge of your mat, go ahead and take your legs out wide for a wide leg forward fold. Again, this doesn't have to be your deepest fold. Just take your legs as wide as it feels good. You can grab your props here again if you'd like. The blocks, bolsters, and all be helpful here. Take a deep breath in through the nose, lengthening your spine. Exhale and reach your heart forward. Again, go just as far as it feels good in your body. Deep breath in and out. Notice the sensations in the backs of your legs. Maybe begin to turn your feet out and in. And pause in a space that might feel a little sticky. And deepen your breath. Inhale, gently engage your core, walk your palms back, bring your feet back to center. Go ahead and take some windshield wipers with your knees here. And then taking your time as you get there, meet me on your back. Grab a block or bolster. Exhale, lower down gently, or maybe even come onto your side and then roll over onto your back. Take a moment to walk your heels closer to your glutes. Tuck your shoulders underneath you. And then as you inhale, lift your hips just enough to place your prop underneath you for a supported bridge. Making sure that you are fully supported here in this space. You can stay here if you'd like, or if you want a little bit more, you can straighten out your legs. Try it both ways, and then do what works for your body. Breathe here. Come back to your relaxation breathing. Exhales a little bit longer than your inhales. On an inhale, gently lift your hips just enough to remove the block or bolster. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Drop your knees in towards each other. If you feel comfortable here, you can take your shavasan in a passive rest pose. Or if you want to, you can turn over onto your side for a side lying shavasan. Deep breath in through the nose. Release it through the mouth. If you're not already on your side, make your way there. If you're not already on your bed, make your way onto your bed. 
and began to drift off to sleep. <laughs>